What up my homies? Today's video, we are going to be taking a break from Mindseed TV. We are done with them. And now we are moving on to Luigi Brothers. And guys, I haven't seen any of their previous content. So this video that I am reacting to is the first video that I've ever seen of theirs. So hopefully you keep that in mind and don't judge me if I don't know their names and sorry in advance because like I said first time watching their content and in this video they are going to the limes which is like a farmhouse now after I did my channeled information I tried looking up the limes to see if I could validate any of it but also to help me create a hook at the beginning of the video because I changed my style a little bit <laughs> but the thing is I don't know if I'm just searching wrong <laughs> on Google because that is a possibility or if this this house is in a different country I know they've got their accents so I'm wondering like if it's in a European country or if it's somewhere else but nonetheless, I could not find any information on the limes. And, uh, so I can't even validate. But if you guys know any information about this location, please, if you can validate anything that I pick up on this location, please let me know down below. But also, if you know the exact location of where this house is, again, leave it down below. Because I want to look into it because there's some things I was picking up that made me go, hmm, interesting. But I digress. So we're going to continue into this video. And this, the clips that I will be inserting will be a little bit different. I won't include the sound because my last few videos been getting copyrighted because of the music that's playing in the background of their videos. So... <laughs> <laughs> just to avoid any, you know, issues in the future, I'm just gonna, like, not play the original sound as often. Okay? Gabish, gabish. Aight. So, let's jump into this. One of the first things I get. This farmhouse, for whatever reason has similar energy or a vibe of that of a funeral home. I don't know why, but that could just have to do with the style of the home. But I found it interesting because if you've ever been to a funeral home, they have like this smell. A lot of times it smells like old people. Sometimes it just smells like, what's the word, cleanliness? or bleach or sterile equipment or cleaning supplies, if that makes sense. But that I picked up immediately before they even started talking. But I found that interesting because one of the guys stated that they keep smelling an old man. <laughs> and Maybe, you know, my brain kind of put together old man smell with funeral home or whatever, or house appearances and structure with old people and death. I don't know, but that's the vibe I'm getting. That's the vibe I'm getting. So I feel like there could be some uh, subconscious patterns that I may be picking up psychically which is determining my interpretations of things hopefully that makes sense i will say that this place did make me feel really really sleepy 
to the point where I contemplated for a good five minutes, should I take a nap, should I not take a nap? Well, you could probably guess that I decided to take the nap. And, uh, yeah. I figured, you know what? There's a reason. It's either there's something there draining energy, or B, Spirit has more information to relay to me because one of the main ways I obtain clairvoyant information is through, like, dreams, astral projection, stuff like that. Basically, when I'm not conscious. So, I let myself go to sleepy sleep. And I'm glad I did because when I did that, I was greeted by a not-so-nice <laughs> earthbound spirit. So, I thought it was an earthbound spirit. And she was coming off as female. Her hair was... It's hard to tell because there was a lot of darkness and a lot of shadow. But she had dark hair. And it was very, like, that loose wave, but, like, fluffy wave situation, whatever you want to call it. She was wearing... It was almost like a gown, like almost like a hospital gown or like a mental ward kind of gown. Something loose like that and boxy styled. I'm not saying that's exactly what she was wearing, but it was in that same like shape and light colors. And she had a pale complexion, but when she went in my face, she went with her mouth wide open, like, really creepy. I don't like when they do that, but a lot of times earthbound spirits will do that to try to scare me to get a reaction out of me, and so they can feed on my negative energy output, but I was like, yo, your breasts stink. Just kidding. I didn't say that. I was just like, girl, you need to close your mouth, because this ain't gonna work, but um, the experience was really fast. It was like, it happened, she was in my face, and then I bounced out of it. And then my head started to hurt, but behind my left ear, I just, for whatever reason, I get a lot of pain behind my ears. I haven't figured out why there, instead of like other parts of my head, that is a work in progress. But one thing I do like about this video, and I'm sure this isn't the only video that they've done this in, but since this is the only video I've watched, I can't make this generalization quite yet, but I liked how they debunked the noises that they heard in the house, and I hope they kind of do that through the rest of their content. I feel like they do, but like I said, I can't say for sure because I haven't watched any other of their videos. It's good to do debunk. It's healthy. It's good. And I will say they had me laughing a little bit because they're in the dark. They're hearing like bugs and they feel things fly across their face and they feel weird sensations like spider webs and whatnot and they just have like their freakouts. I think it's funny not because they're freaking out but because that would be my reaction. If I feel something crawling on me, oh hell no. If I can't see it, mm -mm, I'm automatically thinking it's a spider. Even if it's not. But since I can't see it, oh heck no. Oh heck no. And spider webs, mm mm. Mm mm. Because where there's a spider web, there's a spider. And your girl's not a fan of spiders. Anyway. With the house being old and infested with bugs, rodents, and who knows what else, I'm sure the majority of the things that they caught could be debunked, making it difficult to catch definitive evidence. And I like that they point this out. Instead of making it scarier than it really is and or putting, inserting sound clips to make it sound like there's stuff that there's that's there when it's not. AKA faking their stuff. It doesn't seem like in this video that they fake their stuff. They seem very rational and very down to earth and I like that. The footsteps they were hearing are partially 
from the residual energy from the house being well lived in, but I do believe that some of it can be contributed to it being an older, somewhat dilapidated home that has natural creaks and other noises from the wind getting through openings, but some of the windows that are broken, but also the bug and animal infestations. But, you know, with wind coming through the house and it's an old house, you're going to have natural creaking. But I will say, when I was going through this psychically, there is residual energy there for sure. But there is that earthy that I will say it was kind of confusing because she kind of just wandered around and sometimes when they just wander aimlessly, they are fractals, so they're not 100% conscious and can be more of a residual haunting than an active haunting. But because she got in my face, that's why I'm kind of teeter-tottering between is she like a conscious active earthy or is she more of a fractal? Sometimes I don't know, I'll be honest. I'm still learning. <laughs> Sometimes there are things that make me go, hmm, I'm not sure. Unless spirit is like up front and is like, oh no, it's this. They weren't. And so I'm kind of speculating. But like I said, my interaction with her was really quick. So it's hard to make any assessments on too much details of who she is, why she's there, how'd she get there. I wasn't seeing any portals in the house, but I feel like she's just wandering around. And then when she doesn't have her energy, she'll do things to get it. But I'm going to lean towards Fractal because I just see her wandering aimlessly. So, yeah, there's not much going on in that house, which not all abandoned houses are haunted or have demons or evil spirits. I just think this one, there's a lot of residual energy, honestly. So, I'm just going to really conclude that here. I know it's kind of a short video, but I thought it would be fun to do a quickie and to look at creators that I haven't looked at before. So guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all soon. Peace out.